Hello everyone and welcome. It's Alison Okamitsu here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thank you for joining me on my live crafting show. Whether you're joining live or watching the replay on my blog, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching. However, I am really glad you're here and I'm excited to craft with you today as always. So um, let me just make sure this is working because that is always my biggest fear, <laughs> okay? And I have a lot of fun things to share with you today. So we are going to talk about spring cards because the snow is almost gone here. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So many of you are probably already enjoying spring. I am not. <laughs> so if you are in Canada and or anywhere else that still has snow, trust me, I feel for you because I am right there with you. So make, make sure you say hi when you get here and let me know where you're tuning in from because I would love to know. So if you have joined me before, then you know that I go live on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. So you can find me here stamping away. I usually talk a little bit about what I have going on for the week in terms of my business, like if I have a new class or if I have um, like a new promotion to share and then we make a project and I have kind of a plan for today. You're going to see me create on the fly today, which is kind of terrifying because I always, I'm very organized in this way that I usually have a plan and I know exactly what I'm going to make for you. Like I have a sample card and I'm going from that, but today I'm kind of winging it. So I hope it turns out okay, because I mean, you're all here watching live and this will live forever on YouTube. So let's hope it works out. So everyone wish me luck. And then what else are we going to talk about today? <gasps> oh, I have some exciting news to share. So um, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to be able to hold a live event. So because of, you know, that big thing that happened all over the world for the last two years, um, I haven't been able to do any in-person crafting events. So it's been a long time and I am so excited to announce that my paper crafting retreat in Canmore, Alberta is back. Okay, so we are back for fall 2022. The dates are November 18th, 19th and 20th with an optional of November 21. Okay, so what's really, really exciting is that the new holiday catalog will be out. So we will be stamping with some goodies from the new holiday catalog, I believe. So there's a fabulous swag bag. It's a great, great weekend. So a few things that I want to share with you about that. So let me just make sure. Okay, it's working. Hello. Hello, Pam and Carol. Welcome. So a few things I want to share about the retreat. Number one, registration opens on Friday. Okay, so the reason why I have open registration early is because in the spring, although it had to get canceled, <laughs> in the spring, um, the retreat hotel was like fully booked. So that made it really difficult for people to plan to attend. So I am opening up registration much more in advance this time so people can book their hotel rooms and not be subject to that, you know, availability. What's really great is um, I have a discount code for the hotel. And so you'll save some money on the hotel stay as well, because I've arranged that with the hotel. You book your hotel separately and then pay for the retreat through me. So what's included for your retreat fee? Well, you get a swag bag, has over a hundred dollars worth of Stampin' Up! products inside. So you don't want to miss that. And there is a stamping and games night where you get to possibly win some stuff. Okay. And of course, stamping stuff. <laughs> okay. And everybody, you know, little secret, everybody wins. Okay. <laughs> so that's exciting. There is make and takes throughout the weekend. There are optional classes. And what's, what I think is like the best part is you don't have to cook for yourself. You don't have to clean. I take care of everything. Okay. 
So I arrange for meals. The only meal you're really on your own for is um, Saturday evening. And I've left that open because I often find that people who come into the Rocky Mountains have sort of like favorite hotels or hotels, restaurants they want to hit up. Um, so I've left Saturday night open so you can go and explore the city of Canmore, find a great spot to eat. I have some recommendations for you if you would like. And then the rest of the time there, you just get to set up your station. Everyone gets their own table. You set up your station and you stamp, scrapbook, card make. I mean, oh my goodness, you could watercolor all weekend if you want. It doesn't matter. So you get that table space to set up how you like. It's like a banquet table, like a five by three table. You set up your own station and you can leave it there all weekend. So there's no cleaning things up. There's no putting a project away before you go to sleep at night. Everything just stays there magically all weekend long. And I like to pamper my retreat guests. So just keep in mind that there's lots of pampering and there's a candy bar. And I don't mean like a candy bar. I mean like a spread of candy. <laughs> okay. So there is so much fun to be had. If you have not attended one of my retreats before, I'm just going to tell you now, I'm coming back into the retreat game with a bang because we haven't been able to have a retreat for so long, but I have some really great ideas that I've been kind of like mulling over um, in my head for the last two years. So you're not going to want to miss it. Okay. So the retreat website is nicepeoplestampretreats.com. And when you get there, it kind of just looks like there's one post but make sure you use the little menu bar within the website to navigate to the different pages that'll tell you, you know, your price and registration. It'll tell you information about the hotel, um, information, your registration form, everything like that. And registration opens this Friday, which is March 18th, right? Yeah, March 18th at 10 a.m. Mountain. Oh, I just can't wait. I hope you can join me there. I know that I've already, I sort of like released the pre-release info um, today. I've gotten lots of texts and emails, people excited that the retreat is back. Um, if you have not attended a retreat before, you don't want to miss it. That's all I can say. It is so fun. All right. Hi, Robin. Thanks for joining me. Okay. Are we ready to stamp? I have another little secret. Should I tell you the secret? No. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. I'm going to leave a surprise as of what we are stamping with tonight. Oh, actually, I guess from the thumbnail, you probably know what we're stamping with tonight. We are stamping, st stamping, we're stamping with the tulip stamp set. This one is gorgeous. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh my gosh. And as I said, kind of have a plan, kind of don't. So we're going to see where this ends up. All right. I'm ready to stamp. Make sure you say hi in the comments. If you like today's video, I would of course appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It is always helpful when we can, as YouTubers, have that support. And it's just so nice to see that people are enjoying what I'm sharing. So yes, I know the beginning of today's video was a little bit chatty. That's not the norm around here. Um, but I have lots of exciting things to share. <laughs> okay, let's get into stamping, everyone. All right. So we are going to turn this camera down so we can look at the table surface here and create some fabulous projects together. So let's get this sorted. Okay, sorry, a little bit of motion there for a second, isn't there? Let me just get you set up. All right, I think we're good. Let's see. Hopefully that looks okay. All right. So here is our gorgeous flowering tulips. This is an absolutely stunning bundle. This one is in the January to June mini catalog. And like I said, I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So I am so ready for spring because um, the last of the snow is almost gone. But I have to tell you, we'll probably get more snow. <laughs> so, but I'm enjoying it while it lasts. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm enjoying it while it lasts to have um, almost all the snow gone, <laughs> okay? So we're gonna use this great stamp set. As I said, I usually have a plan and like a whole sample card situation, but we are kind of winging it today. Uh, my husband's last day of vacation was today, so we actually went and saw a movie together, which we haven't done in a long, 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 long time. 
And um, yeah, so that was a really fun afternoon. And it was great because, you know, because I work from home, I can go ahead and do that. So that was really, really fun. Okay, let's talk about our cardstock pieces, at least the ones I think I'm using. Okay, so this piece is Pear Pizzazz cardstock. And I'm thinking this is going to be my card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Hi, Sue. Thanks for joining in from Australia. That's so exciting. All right, we have some of this gorgeous tulips designer paper. You'll find this in the spring mini catalog as well. This is five and a half by one and a half. Here's the other side of it. That's beautiful too. You know what? I don't know what side we're gonna use. We'll, we'll see, okay? So those are sort of like our staple pieces that I'm pretty sure are ending up on this card. And then I just grabbed a stack of white because I thought I'm gonna stamp a bunch of these gorgeous tulips and um, sort of go from there and see what we end up with. So I did also bring in some die cuts and you know stuff like that, but let's stamp some tulips. So this is just a piece of basic white. Actually, let me grab the larger one just in case. I'm gonna just stamp a lot of tulips and we'll see which ones end up on our card. So I'm using two different tulips. So I'm using like the little bud and then the one that's a little bit more open. So these two stamps layer together and these two stamps layer together. So what I'm gonna do, I have a piece of scrap paper here because I want to stamp off for part of it and I'll show you what I mean. This is my small grid paper. All right, so now, hi Tandra, thank you for being here. I'm using my Calypso Coral ink pad and we are going to stamp sort of that tulip that is mostly opened up. Okay, we'll stamp that down. And then the image that coordinates, we'll ink that up and we're gonna stamp it off to get a lighter color. And then we'll stamp it onto our, isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, let me bring this up to the camera for you. Look at how that stamps. I hope you can see all of that gorgeous detail. It is, it is quite beautiful. So then we have, you know what, let's do a couple more of those because I'm thinking, I don't know how many I need for my card. So we'll do the big one and then the little sort of inside filler. Okay. I don't know how many, but we'll just, we'll maybe do three of this larger one and see where we uh, end up, <laughs> okay? I might not use them all, but I can have them on hand for another project. So this color combination that we're using today is straight from that designer paper. I just looked on the back and it told me exactly what colors were in it. So we're using Pear Pizzazz and Calypso Coral. All right, so here is the sort of more closed tulip. So we'll ink that up. We'll do two of these ones, okay? And then here's the filler image from that one. So if you are watching and you have been to one of my in-person retreats before, let everyone know in the comments what you think because I can tell you, I don't think I've ever had anyone be disappointed. No one has ever told me, eh, that retreat was kind of meh. <laughs> Everyone's always a rave review. So I think if you come, you're gonna love it. So, those are our beautiful tulips. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> I love it. All right, and you know what? I do wanna stamp a sentiment, but I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna stamp my sentiments in Calypso Coral, but we'll see. I'm not committed to that quite yet. So now we have our pear pizzazz, and we have like a stem and some leaves. So I'm just gonna, again, kinda of stamp a bunch and see what we end up using. So. We'll stamp our first, ooh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Maybe stamp three of these. No, let's go with five. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna have all of these and I'll probably not even use half of them, but we'll have them and we can use them on another card. Does this coordinate? It does, <gasps> beautiful. So we're gonna stamp and stamp off to get that two-tone, ooh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, so we'll get this all down and then we need some stems. So we'll do that as well. Okay, 
So do I want full strength stems? Let's see. I think I do. I like the look of the more vibrant stems. Maybe three stems? I think three. Okay, so we have our images that I'm going to die cut. And I know some other things that I want on my card too. And by no, I mean like I'm pretty sure because <laughs> I've kind of got this card planned in my head. So here's our beautiful tulips. Why don't we die cut these and then we'll die cut our other things at the same time. So I have my stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'll just need my platform and plates. So let's die cut these pieces. I just had a panic moment for a second there and I thought, oh goodness, I hope <laughs> that my piece of cardstock fits through my die cutting machine because I didn't measure, but it does. We're safe, everyone. We're safe. Okay, so let's try and cut out sort of multiple images at one time. Okay, so hopefully I don't shake it too much when I roll it through and we don't have any shifting, but hey, we cut a lot of extras or we stamped a lot of extras. Okay, so, oh geez, look at that. That was just slippery fingers. That's what that was. I got ahead of myself. Okay, so line it up. It's not funny. You know, this stuff only ever happens on a live video. Stamping alone in my studio? Nope, everything's fine. Live video, I'm like all thumbs and I get so nervous. <laughs> yes, I may have been doing this for a while, but that doesn't mean I don't still get nervous. Okay, so let's, let's put it on through now and nobody breathe, <laughs> okay? All right. Okay, I think we have success. Whew, the stress, right? Okay, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So we have a little stem. <gasps> Look at these leaves. Oh my gosh, and yeah, this is gorgeous. Okay, so there's our, what did I just do with that die? Oh no. My goodness, you guys. Did you know that you'd be watching the Hot Mess crafting show today? <laughs> well, here we are. Just kidding. All right, let's die cut some more. All right, so as I was saying, we don't have spring here yet. Like it is very much still um, winter, <laughs> but we've been having like some springy days and the snow is almost gone, which that just gives me hope. You know, <laughs> that just gives me hope because having such a long winter is really tough. Like if you really having any season for a long time is tough. Cause like you don't have that changing of the seasons really here in Calgary. We get fall for like a day and we get spring for like a day and the rest is just summer and winter. <laughs> okay. And winter is real long. Like Summer, I'm not talking like summer starts early. I mean, like we still get snow in June a lot of times. Um, and then snow can start kind of like mid-October. So we don't get a like extra summer. <laughs> we just get really long winter. So um, yeah, if you live somewhere that's sort of like perpetually one season, then you kind of know what I'm talking about. So all these spring stamps and dyes have me very excited because it reminds me that greater, more beautiful things are to come. All right. Welcome everyone who is now joining us. I'm glad you're here. We are stamping a fun card with these gorgeous tulips, stamps, and dies. So this set is called Flowering Tulips and it comes as a bundle in the mini catalog. So all the products I'm using in my video, you can purchase at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. You can shop with me from anywhere in Canada, okay? And when you do, you're automatically entered into my shopping rewards program, which means that you can earn free stamp sets just for shopping with me. I have all the details of my um, stamp tokens program 
on my blog under shop slash rewards. And if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the video description once the live is over. Um, but I'll also tell you that it's on my blog, which is nicepeoplestamp.com. So you can check it out there as well. So I know that I have um, received so many lovely messages from people who have been getting their free stamp sets lately. So they're very excited to stamp with free stuff. I mean, who isn't, right? Um, so it's always exciting when new customers find me and go, um, excuse me, I can earn like free stamp sets just by shopping and I'm Yep. So it is my customer loyalty program. It's my way of giving back to those who support my business. So make sure you check it out if you're interested. All right, we're on our last tulips here. And then we're gonna go ahead and die cut some other pieces. So let's get these out of the way. All right. I just wanna get my dies back on my little sheet here so I don't lose any. So I have this little circle. This is just from the Layering Circles dies. Actually, you know what, I can just put them both on here. So Layering Circles dies, I'm just using one of my circles. And then I also have these beautiful dies. Aren't these fun? So let me show you those. They're, um, let me take them out of the plastic. So these are the dies. They are, go with the sports bundle in the mini catalog. I've gotten a ton of use out of these dies. I love them for labels. So we are gonna cut one of these. Oh, you know what? It doesn't fit on there. Let's bring that piece of white back. There we go. Ta-da. All right, so let's roll those through. And then I think we can start putting things together here. Okay. So we have kind of a planned out card and kind of not, but we're gonna see where we end up, right? We're just gonna wing it and see how it goes. All right, so there's, oh, I love this die. Isn't that so fun? <gasps> so pretty. All right, let's get our machine out of the way and we'll go ahead and put this together. So. Um, let me know in the comments as I'm putting this together, what combination, like what color combination would you use for this card? I'm using pear pizzazz and calypso coral, but I thought, you know what? I bet um, those watching will have some great color combinations in their minds. So share them with me and maybe I'll do like a remake of this card. So I want to put my flowers kind of on here and I'm going to have them hanging off, I think. And then I'll just sort of cut off the excess off the bottom. So I'm kind of thinking like, do kind of like this. Oh, beautiful. So let's sort of do a little plan so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves here. I kind of like that. And then what if we had just like a peekaboo one through the back maybe, and then we could kind of do over here. Maybe move that down a little. And yes, I cut more than I need, but it's better to have more than run out partway through making your card. And you know, I like to sort of make sure that I have extras so I can go ahead and just use liberally on my card. Like I don't want to think to myself like, oh, I wish I could put another one on. I just want to be able to like layer them on as much as I want. Okay, I think that's going to look pretty good. So I kind of have an idea in my mind of where it's going to go. So let's get some things set up here. So I have my Stampin' Dimensionals here and I'm going to use these to just kind of get everything layered up how I wanted. So we had our two tulips like that with our stem. Okay, so kind of like in there. And I just use my dimensionals to kind of sandwich things in place so I can get them to stay where I like. So we'll add some more. Okay, and then let's, I think we'll put this on and then add our leaves. So let's put this down. All right, so we'll kind of go maybe like that and then we'll add our leaves. And like I said, I'm gonna cut off the parts that are um, hanging down, which um, I think that'll look really cute once it's on the card front. All right, so I'm just gonna take a couple mini dimensionals into that leaf. 
right and we'll kind of situate that how we like it oh yeah oh gorgeous and then what about let's see I know I had a plan but plans change right we'll do this one kind of going this way I think and higher up yeah yeah see it's always great when you just kind of like play around. Do you ever do that? Like, well, of course, everyone who is a card maker, um, I'm sure has like, sometimes you sit down to your table, I'm sure, and like have a solid plan and you're like, this is exactly the card I'm gonna make. Maybe you found one online um, and you kind of go, yeah, this is the one. But then a lot of times I bet we all sit down like I am today and go, I kind of have an idea, but like, I'm not totally sure. <laughs> so at least I hope you do. I hope you're not like, what is this lady doing? Like, why doesn't she know what she's doing? Because I wanted to have a bit of a play with you today. Okay, so let's get that one in. Okay. And then we'll go in with our leaves in a second here. So like I said, my color combo is Calypso Coral and Pear Pizzazz, but I mean, even just looking at the colors in this designer paper, you could do, you could do so many different colors. Like there's just such an array of colors in this set that you could do almost anything. All right, so let's get some leaves happening down here. Oh yeah, I like how that's gonna come out. So I just wanna put a dimensional kind of in there and then I'll put some adhesive on the tip of that leaf. Okay. There we go. So we'll take that backing off and kind of rest it in there. Okay, oh, beautiful. And then let's do another one over this side. Okay, so kind of like that. So let's put some dimensionals on that other side there. There we go. Oh yeah, I love that. So I have some extras for another project. So do you ever do that? Like I usually will put them into my stamp case so I don't lose them and I have them like with my project. So I often will do that. So now I'm just gonna turn this over. Everything that's hanging off, I'm gonna give it a little haircut with my scissors. Okay, so that's gonna be my focal piece on my card. I think that's pretty stunning. If I do say so myself, I hope you like it. And then I wanted my sentiment to be just thinking of you today. I thought, you know, then I can send this card to anyone at any time. I just thought, yeah, that's the sentiment I want to go with. It's There's so many beautiful ones in this set, though, actually. Like, this is one of those sets that has kind of like the full meal deal when it comes to sentiments and imagery, really. So we've got, you are so thoughtful, you, um, thank you, happy Mother's Day, no one deserves a happier birthday than you, love you so much, just thinking of you today, and let today be the start of something new. So yeah, great set for sentiments and images, as you can see. So we'll take our just thinking of you, and this is the circle that I die cut. Okay, there we go. And that's again just my calypso coral once again and then i thought we might do some stamping with one of the background pieces but let's just see kind of how this ends up i kind of thought we'd do like that we'll go ahead and stamp those down let's see have to get my stamp up the right way and we're just going to create like a little background there okay so just using those little x's and going through just to create a fun bit of interest in the background of our card okay there we go all right so this just kind of creates a fun like isn't that cute I think it's really cute how it turned out. So um, it just has a bit of, a bit more interest than just the plain um, card base. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Glad you're here. That's okay. Late to the party is better than not coming at all, right? 
All right, so now we can go ahead and assemble everything. So I'm gonna take my designer paper and just put along this bottom edge here. So I'll grab in my seal adhesive. There we go. So we'll, oh, I almost stuck my tulips on upside down. That would be embarrassing on a live video. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's our cute tulips. And then we're gonna put, I don't know if I should put this off to the side. Let's just, let's assess here with my sentiment. And then I do have a ribbon. Do, do, do. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or should we go like center? I think off to the side. I'm gonna do off to the side. So I'm just going to take my dimensionals and add them to the back here. I, I basically put dimensionals on everything. Every project just makes every project fancier, I think. Okay, so we've got our beautiful tulips. There we go. Let's make sure that's relatively straight. Come on. All right, so there we go. And then I'm gonna put my thinking of you kind of in here. So I'm gonna put dimensionals on that one side there. There we go. So just thinking of you today. Okay, and then I brought in this uh, pale papaya ribbon because I thought it was like a nice contrast to the dark um, Calypso coral. So I thought that would look nice. So Diane's asking what dye is the white piece cut from? I think she's probably thinking this label piece. And those are from the, I believe it's called the sports fan dyes. It's these ones right here. So they go with like the, um, the very like sporty themed set in the mini catalog. And yeah, I love, love, love these ones. I have put them to good use. <laughs> okay. So let's take our ribbon and tie ourselves a bow. So after the video is over, I'll be sure to go through and add all the products I've used with links and everything. Um, but because I didn't have my card totally planned, um, I didn't add them ahead of time because I thought, what if I change my mind? <laughs> okay. I want to be like open to the creative process, right? All right. So let's give this a little snipperoo. Okay. go and then I thought this could kind of like go up here with my sentiment or maybe even oh I kind of like it down in there let's do that so I'm gonna take a glue dot and add it to the back of my bow there we go and we'll kind of put it in there with our flowers and our sentiment And there you have it. There is our gorgeous card today made with the flowering tulips bundle. I hope you like it. I think that it turned out really, really gorgeous. And so here's that bundle I'm talking about. This is the one we use. So there's the stamp set and the dies. So like I said, these are in the spring mini catalog. You can check out all the products that I use today at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. Don't forget, you can read all about my shopping rewards program so you can earn free stamp sets when you shop with me. And you can shop with me from anywhere in Canada, okay? So I hope that you had a great time crafting with me and I hope you will subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. I have been uploading quite a few videos lately, so make sure you check them out. I posted a cute, cute, cute St. Patrick's Day treat package earlier this week, so make sure you check that out. And I also posted a mini slimline double slider card. So there is a lot happening over um, on my YouTube channel. So make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss any videos. And I hope that you'll be back to craft with me again next Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Mountain Time so we can make some fun projects together. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.